Hey there, I'm Ed. Today I'm going to show you how to test the control board on a refrigerator that's not cooling at all and has a compressor that's not running. The control board manages the power to all the refrigerator parts, including the compressor, which makes it the brains behind your refrigerator's cooling system. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's get our tools together. Today we'll need a quarter inch nut driver and a multimeter. And please remember that safety comes first. Always remember to disconnect your refrigerator by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. The board supplies power to the start device of the compressor. And if the board is faulty, then it won't send the right amount of voltage to the start device. To access the control board, open the refrigerator door and take out the filter. At the back of the refrigerator at the top, you should see a quarter inch screw on the right side behind where the filter is located. Remove this screw, then drop the cover down. There will be two quarter inch screws on the corner of the left side that are recessed in. Remove both of them. We need to remove the three quarter inch screws under the control panel. These will be recessed into the panel. Next, remove the quarter inch screw under the cover at the back of where the filter would be. Once all the screws have been removed, you should be able to drop the control housing down so you can access the control board. You'll need to remove this clear plastic piece, which is called a light pipe. Then fold the front of the control housing to release the control board. We have the power on during disassembly, so you can see what we are doing, but you should have it unplugged when you do it yourself. Before we test the board, we need to plug the fridge back in or switch the breaker back on. We'll be checking live voltage during this test, so please remember to be very careful here. Always take extreme care when checking live voltage so you can protect yourself from electrical shock, which has the potential to cause serious injuries. Please don't ever test live voltage if you're uncomfortable using a multimeter. If you are uncomfortable dealing with live voltage, please stop and call someone who can do this testing for you. Once you're ready, we can test the control board for AC voltage. First, find the P1 connector on the board. Then find the red wire and the light blue wire. These will be pins 1 and pin 11. You're going to place one lead on the red wire and the other lead on the light blue wire. You should get 120 volts AC on your multimeter here. If you didn't get 120 volts AC to the control board, then you'll need to check the thermistor. If the thermistor is good, then that means the control board is faulty and needs to be replaced. To reassemble, first plug the control board back in. Then slide the control board back into place and lock it into the tabs. Then reinstall the light pipe. We need to put the control housing back on the ceiling and install the three quarter inch screws that hold the housing in place. Then install the two quarter inch screws in the side panel at the upper left hand side. Install a single quarter inch screw behind the water filter. Now you can put the cover back over the tubing and once you install the quarter inch screw that holds it in place you're done. If your control board is good check out our other troubleshooting guides that can help you pinpoint the reason why your fridge isn't cooling. If your control board is bad, just head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to order a replacement so you can repair your fridge yourself. And don't forget to share your experience with us in the comments. If this video was helpful, show us some love by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to helping you in our next video.